The story of Don Branchow, a renowned Sea World Orca trainer, is a tragic tale of passion and danger. Her love for the majestic creatures she worked with brought millions of dollars and guests to the park, but it also led to her untimely death at the jaws of one of the orcas she had come to know and love. Branchow's story serves as a reminder that sometimes our dreams and passions can come at a high cost, and that even the most experienced professionals can fall victim to the unpredictable nature of the wild animals they work with. She had always dreamed of working with orcas since she was a little girl, and her parents took her to Sea World in California to see Shamu perform. Orcas are apex predators and feed on fish, seals, and other species of dolphins, but some populations are endangered due to human activities such as marine mammal parks. Dawn worked hard to achieve her dream of working with orcas and stayed fit to maintain her safety while working with the dangerous animals. She became a senior trainer and was well known for her performances with the orcas. On February 24, 2010, Dawn was performing a Dine with Shamu show with Tilikum, a male orca she had worked with for years and had a close bond with. During the bonding session after the show, Tilikum attacked and killed her. This tragic event led to changes in marine mammal parks practices and treatment of the animals. The individual, who was 40 years old, engaged in a close encounter with an orca. Suddenly, something occurred that instilled great fear in the audience. Jan Topoleski, who was present, observed as Don Brancho's lengthy hair drifted into Tilikum's mouth. Brancho struggled to extricate her hair from the orca's mouth. However, Tilikum was known to be possessive and did not enjoy relinquishing his possessions. While Topolevsky and others witnessed the whale seizing Brancho's hair, other witnesses claimed that the orca had taken hold of the woman's arm. Regardless of which account was accurate, one thing was undeniable. Tilikum pulled Brancho into the pool, submerging her underwater. The two of them battled for a while before the orca swung the woman in his mouth. Seconds later, Brancho attempted to swim towards the surface, but Tilikum retaliated by striking her. Despite this, Brancho persisted, prompting the orca to strike her once more before swimming away with her in his mouth. The animal was agitated and swam erratically, and although staff members tried to control him, Tilikum disregarded his training and thrashed violently. SeaWorld faced a tragic situation that required them to modify their procedures. After the death of trainer Brent show, SeaWorld prohibited trainers from entering the pool to perform shows. In August 2010, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, cited SeaWorld for three safety violations and stated that the company had willfully endangered its staff. SeaWorld filed multiple appeals to regain permission for water performances, but a special Labor Department commission denied their request in 2012. In response to public criticism, SeaWorld stopped breeding captive orcas in 2016 and committed to prioritizing the conservation and rehabilitation of the orcas in their care. It was recognized that orcas are not pets or performers. Rather, they are wild animals that deserve their freedom.